always very difficult when you take two penalties in the in the match, both for the goalkeeper and the penalty taker. You never quite know if you must go the same way or change your, your the corner you, you you go for. So the drama begins. Sam Pam against John Clarnet. He's been a hero in a cup final before John Clarnet when he was on the books of Kwakwa Stars. Confident penalty taker is this Nigerian, the number one choice for the Buccaneers. Let's see what he can do. Sam Pam against John Clarnet. Okpada just getting into position behind the line there. There the whistle blows. It's in, it's just in, but it's in. Well, that's what we were saying earlier. Sam Pam chose the, the same corner, and Clale, very unfortunate, doesn't get a strong enough hand on it. Very close. Let's have a look at it from uh, behind the goal. Sam Pam again, and Clale just missing out and pushing it wide. Didn't really have as much power on it this time as he had on the first kick. So the advantage is now with the Lander Pirates. Having the first kick is always the better situation because uh, Sundowns will have to chase back all the time. One on the board already for the Buccaneers and now Daniel Modal to try and equalize it. Okpada came so close to saving his kick. This time he has, he saved it. Disappointment for Madal. I think just so much uncertainty there for Daniel Madal, not quite knowing where to go. Really not a very good penalty. It's still all credit to Parra. So, Madal with a kick. He chose the right-hand corner of Parra, went the right way and got his full body behind the ball. He slipped a little bit as well, he just took the kick, Daniel Madal. So, 1-0 after one kick apiece, Pirates lead. They can stretch it to two now if Brandon Silent can put this in the back of the net. Silence against Klale. 2-0. Hammered that one home. Well, I want to tell you, that's the way to take a penalty. Drove it into the roof of the net. Not much chance for a goalkeeper there. No chance for John Clarley on that one. He picked the right corner again. And again beaten by the pace and the smile on the face of Brandon Sinan. Now motivating his teammates. McClala is the man who will take the second kick for Mamelodi Sundowns. He's got to score this one, otherwise they'll be two down and basically Pirates will need just one more to make sure. Moklala against Okpara, 2-1. Nicely taken by Jethro Moklala. Another really good penalty there, just waits for Okpara to to make up his mind for him and goes in the opposite direction but slots it really well in that top corner well, you can see from their celebrations why they call him lovers so Demise Ngobe still the advantage is with the Buccaneers if he scores this there'll be 3-1 up and then if Sundowns miss it, it'll be all over. So it can be sewn up basically in the next two kicks. And Gorbe to push Pirates further into the lead against Klale. 3-1. The Buccaneers look on their way now to Bob Save Super Bowl glory. Like Brendan Silent, another excellent penalty. Knew exactly what he wanted to do and went out and did it. Brilliantly struck with power and precision by Demisa Ngobe. 3-1. Celebrations there. Now, if Sundowns miss this kick, it's all over. Joel Masilela, the substitute, will take it. 
And if he doesn't get it in, it's going to be 3-1 and all over. Masilela keeps them in. 3-2 the scoreline. Opano went the wrong way. Lots of cool confidence there from uh, Masilela. Well, once again, Masilela just waits for Opano to, to decide which way he's going and, and picks the other corner. So, three kicks have been taken by both teams. Pirates lead 3-2. They still have the advantage. Jackson with a smile. He can make it 4-2 and put the pressure again back on Sundowns. And he had a big smile there for uh, John Crowley. Two men, of course, uh, both from the Free State region. Jackson against Crowley. Can he make it 4-2? He's made it 4-2. And That's again, a really another good penalty there by Jackson. Clare going the wrong way. Jackson just waiting for him to to decide which way he's going and slots it in the other corner. So Sundowns have to score the next one. Well, Jackson did well. Clare went the wrong way. So Borman to keep Sundowns in the game. If this is saved or missed, Pirates win the Bob Save Super Bowl. It's that simple. Opana cheering up those fans, putting the pressure on Randall Borman. It can go to another kick. He wants the fans behind him. Borman's feeling the pressure. 4-2 Pirates lead. Borman, oh, lovely penalty. That's a cracking penalty. I think even if the keeper gets to that, really the power just takes it beyond you. In the back of the net from Randall Borman. So, 4-3 after four kicks each. And now Steve Lecolea can win the Bob Save Super Bowl for Orlando Pirates. That's well, a big responsibility for such a young man. Lecolea walking back against John Clale. Is it going to be Orlando Pirates' trophy? Will Sundown stay in? Oh, it saved it! It's 4-3 still. Bad decision to let the youngster take it. It certainly was. He didn't look uh, confident from the moment he stepped up to take it. Good save. Clale was going the one way and then back again and he got a hand to it and kept it out. Well, just when we thought the drama was over, yet another chapter has been written. So, 4-3, saved by John Clarley, and now Sundowns have Rafael Chukwu bring it back to 4 all, and then we'll go to sudden death. Chukwu must score, though, otherwise it's all over. He's got to score this one. Football of the Year, Players' Player of the Year, the man behind Sundown's march on the championship. Can he keep them in the Bob Safe Super Bowl final two? Well, he's feeling the heat as well. Okpara's thriving at the moment. Chukwu against Okpara. This to take it into the sudden death or for Orlando Pirates to win the Super Bowl. Chukwu, the Nigerian, Okpara, the Nigerian. It's for all. We're going into the shootouts. That's another excellent penalty. Really, the quality of the penalties so far have generally been brilliant. Really, not much chance for Parra there. So, 4 4 after five kicks apiece. It's now sudden death. Bruce Ramakai will take the next kick. There's Chukwu again with a fine delivery. And now. Orlando Pirates sneaked back into the game. Sundowns have sneaked back into the game. My word, they are keeping us in agony here. Ramokadi, those fans can barely bear to watch this. Against John Clarnet. Yes, he's got it. So it's 5-4, and now 
Opana can save and keep the trophy with Orlando Pirates. I think this is basically straight at the goalkeeper, just waiting for him to move. Well, if he stood his ground, he would have saved it, but uh, Ron McCarty perhaps with a good choice. 5-4, Orlando Pirates lead on penalties. And this looks like Michael Manzini on his debut with a penalty. My word. More and more drama being written as this game unfolds. Opara against Manzini. Oh, he's taking it well. Lots of confidence. 5-5. Five, five. Manzini's been outstanding this afternoon. So cool, calm and collected. Slots it to Opara's right there. Really does well. Well, for a man who's playing his first official game, he's really been in the thick of it. He gave away the penalty at the end. So, Lane has been in the thick of the drama as well. Almost lost the game for Orlando Pirates. Now he's got the responsibility of keeping them with their nose in front here in this uh, sudden death shootout. Lane against Klane. Looks away from the goalkeeper, steps up. Oh, he's missed it! He has missed it! Oh, it just hasn't been his day! Gavin Lane, oh my word! Well, he seemed very, very tense when he stepped up to take this. Look at the reaction on the Sundowns bench. They are now one kick away from the League and Cup double. Perhaps there's a fair element of justice in that. Well, I think at this stage of the penalty shootout, you're now getting to people that don't really want to take penalties and generally don't take penalties. So, Selo Maklangu, who's been ever-present for Sundowns all season long, can now win the League and Cup double. Selo Maklangu with the biggest kick of his life. Yeah, against Okpara. Sundowns for the double! The referee's given it! He's given it! Oh, that was inches away! They have won the League and Cup double! courtesy of Selo Maklangu and just a couple of inches